Hi everyone! Today I'm here at SM Mega Mall here on level 5 and in today's video we're going to explore this section of the mall so there will be a mega food hall along the way and other features this is near the mega trade hall 3 by the escalator so on the right is a musical instrument store called perfect pitch I will just follow the hall or the corridor. And let's uh, together let's see what this part of the SM Mega Mall has to offer. I will be providing timestamps as well. So that anytime you want to go back to any particular store, you can do so easily through this video. There's an informational sign. Presumably, this is part of the fashion hall. This is the Craft Central. If you're into scrapbooking and other crafts activities. This right here is called Perks, Novelties, and Curiosities. So this is a specialty store in case you're trying to find something unique as a gift perhaps. Beside it is Kit, kit keeping it together. Uh, so if you're into storage and organizing your things and then a fancy store for suits for gentlemen and then then there's the men's room beside it which is a barber lounge and spa look inside It's a different type of Starbucks. It's more of like um, an open space. Which has become a trend for individual workers who don't have a permanent office space. This is the Director's Club Cinema. This is a special cinema, not unlike uh, your regular, bigger movie theaters. Then when you're done movie viewing, you could try Hobing at Korean Bingsu Cafe. There's someone, oh no, the, I'm trying to find out if the skating rink is still closed. Apparently it is. 
I was just here last week uh, checking out which stores are now currently open and those uh, which are still closed for business. On the right is Ivy Cafe, like a fancy coffee shop. This is what you can see from the outside. This is like the reception area. It's a spa slash coffee shop. So after relaxing, getting your spa massage or spa treatment, you can relax further by having a soothing cup of joe or tea. Uh, this is one of the most interesting additions to the fifth level currently, Arrowland. The country's, uh, I, un I understand, is the country's premier archery, uh, indoor archery facility. And I think this is the only one right now in the country, or at least in Metro Manila. So these are the rates in case you're interested to try it out. playing right now or shooting arrows I'm just standing from the outside so this is a 10 meter shooting range I've inquired uh, before at least 10 people can play at any given time Kids as young as uh, 7 to 10 years old can also try archery here as long as uh, they can handle the, uh, the bow and they can pull the string. This is the waiting area outside. Also uh, slash a uh, viewing area if you don't really want to do the actual activity but it's just waiting for someone inside or you simply want to watch them do their thing inside it's something worth trying out if you're looking for something different for a change this is a uh, karada body therapy it's a japanese body therapy massage at the Japanese way it is open <laughs> I guess it's really dark inside uh, or to give you that um, relaxing atmosphere so we have reached the end of the hall this leads us now to mega trade hall one uh, near the escalator and another um, interesting and unique feature of level 5 is right now they have put up their own pet park here so if you have fur babies specifically pet dogs you can now bring them here for their own time of enjoyment okay so we we actually have um, some people who just brought over their dogs the little guy is trying out the maze and there's another one just uh, finding his way around so based on uh, the size of the obstacles this would be good for smaller dogs at small to medium sized dogs at least so that uh, they won't uh, be too tall uh, to peek outside the walls of the labyrinth. It's called the indoor paw park right there. So I've just turned right to the other side of the hall. This is a different set of shops now you will be seeing on the right. 
uh, starting with Laser Arena. Which is, yeah, laser guns, playing with laser guns. So these are the admission rates right here. I think that's not bad. I just don't know how long or what the average playing time is. And uh, these are the weapons that are available. And then right beside it is GAO. G-A-O-C. Yep, it's an acronym for Dental Implants and Cosmetic Surgery. And then there's one, Active Fun Children's Play and Party Centers. Hopefully they'll reopen soon. And this is like this is what it looks like in the middle of the hallway. shop here called strip it's a removal salon it's supposed to be award-winning so if you're familiar with what they are give a shout out in the comment section below and brow house brow salon if you'd like uh, to groom your bro your brows or give them a new look then a skating rink again but yeah it's it's definitely closed mm. this is the payment counter supposedly up ahead is another new and unique feature of level 5 which is a co-working space and before we go there this is what the middle part looks like so looking all the way down uh, the mall is still into the chinese new year theme so it's like a fantasy land for chinese new year and then yep you have the workspace aptly named for people who want a quiet space to work for sure um, there is a fee involved I don't think this is free because there are like um, proper table setups and um, I would assume that it's for a minimal fee. Definitely a good option rather than um, an, other than staying inside an expensive or high-priced cafe. So this is definitely a good option if you just really want to sit down and work for maybe a few hours or even for the whole day if you like. And after the skating rink, there's Serenity. Now comes the fun part, which is the Mega Food Hall. Which is a major feature of Level 5. These are the stores. Uh, the sitting area is definitely spacious. There. And there are some well-known dining options you could choose from Frankie's right now is a very famous place to get um, delicious buffalo wings we'll have a closer look yeah when we go to this side okay So 
Tokyo Tex Mex. Uh, there's Rose Kitchen Company, Frankie's, and other dining establishments for food, uh, fast food kiosks. And this is the sitting area. So there's a bit of um, mood. Not too well lit, not too bright. So if you want um, a, a bit of an intimate dining option, this might be the place for you. These are Korean options now, Korean food options. Um, Korean corn dog, which has uh, also become quite a trend recently. This is their menu. This is their neighbor, Shisu. So that's the mega food hall for you. Now turning right again to explore the rest of the hallway before we go back to the side of Mega Trade Hall 3 where we started. across the hall it's really a very very the, the space here is so expansive so if you don't like ramp spaces definitely head over here to level 5 if you just want quiet stroll maybe or you just want to be away from the crowd even momentarily bingo place okay so we're nearing the end of the hall back at uh, the mega trade hall tree area and uh, this is another musical instrument store so there are two uh, this is the Yupanko Music Academy they're a uh, reputable music uh, coaching company in the industry just right across perfect pitch i hope you enjoyed that mini tour if you did please give it a thumbs up consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more walking tour videos like this in different parts of the city thanks for watching as always keep safe and have a rosy day ahead bye